Hello and welcome to this short video on using the tax projector application with a ProSystem FX tax return. In less than four minutes you're going to learn how to use the tax projector program to prepare a projection of next year's 1040 tax return. The projected return can be used to predict and adjust estimated tax payments, adjust withholding allowances, recommend tax credit options, and review other tax planning options. The tax projector program prepares a projected form 1040, associated forms and schedules, and other tax projection documents. The tax projector program is an add-on product to the 1040 program and requires a separate license. Tax projector calculations are based on next year's tax rates and exemption amounts, as well as predictions of next year's tax laws. Enter Y in the Prepare the Tax Projection field on the Tax Projector Worksheet to trigger the tax projector calculations. Use Section 1 of the Tax Projector Worksheet to make general adjustments or overrides to current year return data. Use Sections 3 through 8 of the Tax Projector Worksheet to make adjustments to or override data on current year Form 1040 and other forms and schedules. The program uses current year return data on the projected return unless current year data is adjusted or overridden. On Sections 3 through 4 of the Tax Projector Worksheet, a column of override checkboxes and a column of amount fields are available. Check the override box and enter date in the amount field to override a line item, and leave the override box blank and enter date in the amount field to adjust a line item. The $150,000 entered adjusts Schedule E income to reflect that next year the taxpayer is expected to receive a $150,000 royalty payment from a partnership. The client does not project any capital gains on next year's return. Therefore, I'll go to Section 5 of the Tax Projector Worksheet to set the client's capital gain income to zero by checking the No Capital Gains or Losses checkbox. After I've calculated the return, I can review the Tax Projector output. All of the Tax Projector output is located in the Tax Projector folder in the Forms area of the Navigation Panel. On the Summary Worksheet, we can see that Projected Schedule D income is zero and projected Schedule E income has been increased by $150,000. I'll show you some of the other output from the Tax Projector calculations. Tax Projector messages follow the summary worksheet. This form provides information on the basis of the Tax Projector calculations. Next, a comparison of current year and next year rates is available. Following the projection rates, the projected 1040 is available along with other projected forms and schedules. A review of the tax projector summary indicates that the taxpayer needs to increase his estimated tax payments by $45,214 so as not to owe taxes on next year's return. I can make this adjustment by entering the $45,214 in the estimated tax payments amount field on Section 3 of the tax projector worksheet. Next, I'll enter data to create a next year's estimated tax obligation of $142,993 by entering this amount as an override on Section 2 of the Estimate Preparation Worksheet. After calculating the return, a review of the projected 1040 indicates that with these adjustments, the taxpayer will pay sufficient estimated taxes so as not to owe anything on next year's return. A review of the estimated tax payment vouchers shows that the program has prepared vouchers for four payments of $35,749 to discharge the taxpayer's estimated tax payment obligation. I hope that you found this video on using the tax projector useful. Thanks for watching. For additional CCH training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.